this lesson, we're going to go over the overview of Office 365. And again, we're going to jump back to the whiteboard just to make it a little easy on us so we can follow the flow of it. So let's go hit the whiteboard and talk about this for a second. Well, we all know what Office 365 is, or we wouldn't be here right now looking at this course. But we're going to take a moment to go over the Office 365 overview. Now, when we talk about Office 365, we're going to talk about the Office 365 product. Okay, let's scratch that, because it's not a product, it's a service. Now, truly, it's a 365 days a year service. Now, the difference being is a product is a one-time fee, whereas a service is a monthly charge that continues on every month. That means it also continues year to year. And since it's a block year contract, that's important to note. So we're all in the cloud with this, but we're all in as a service. We have to remember that this is a service and we're so used to seeing Office as a product. So when we talk about it, we're gonna talk about what services are included. The services included are Office Pro Plus. And this gives us our basic Office that we're used to, you know, our Word, our Excel and everything, and even Outlook. Now, it's already set up to synchronize with Office 365, which is great. We also have SharePoint Online, so we can utilize, you know, its collaboration services, plus its storage capabilities, the ability to have OneDrive and be able to use that as, you know, kind of like our file share and be able to share documents, handle badges, just tons of stuff. We have our Exchange Online. And that's going to allow us to turn around and be able to send our emails, but we know it's going to help us with our calendars and all of that. And you know what? If we have Office Pro Plus, we're going to be synchronized to that. But we can also use Outlook on the local machine as well to synchronize to it. And last but not least, we have Link Online. And Link Online is going to allow us to literally chat back and forth, but also make calls, be able to do searches, including skill searches for people, and be able to see what their availability is. All these services, they also have additional services inside of them. And it depends on the license, if it's available or not. All right, let's move on for a moment. And we're going to go over for one last thing, and that's the SLA. The SLA is our service level agreement. Now, the service level agreement dictates how the service is going to function and what our uptime is going to be. Now, Microsoft has said for Office 365, they are going to have an uptime of 99.9%. .9%. So that is our uptime. On the other side of that though, that means that is a possibility of 0.1% of the time we will be down. So there is that possibility at all times. But what Microsoft gives us is this wonderful thing that the SLA is financially backed. So they're basically putting their money where their mouth is, right? They're saying that we're going to stay up 99.9% .9 of the time. And if we don't, we are going to take the financial responsibility of that. So these are things to think about. So as we look over the entire overview of it, we're just going to think about a couple things. One is that this is a service. It is not a product anymore. That the services that are included, the four main ones we've got listed. You know, our Office Pro, SharePoint, Exchange, Link, our basics, right? but these are pretty big things. And that our SLA is 99.9% .9 and it's financially backed by Microsoft. All right, enough of the overview. We've seen this whole thing. Let's go continue on, shall we?